morning. It's Sunday morning. Today I'm off to a van meet. I'm hoping to catch a few people that I didn't catch at um, Stratford and try and get a little bit of a vlog or at least sort of some pictures or something of seeing them off to Liam's um, unit in Barnsley. Um, don't know how late I am. I must be a bit dinner time now. And we'll see how I go. Catch you later. Yeah, it's all empty. I was really busy, but then I saw a kitten. So we're here <laughs> so now. Yeah. Came and saying hello. Oh, yeah. So come for you, my man. Liam's gathering, say hello Susie, hello, hello. Susie. <laughs> and I'm just doing everybody's name because I don't know anybody, so I'm just sat here hiding behind the caveman who's doing his rounds. So we'll try and get names to faces later. Hey, all right then. So if I do a quick scan and then we'll try and sort of put names on, arrow names on people's faces afterwards. There's Steve doing his vlogging. Hi, Steve. Cinderella, Cinderella right now, say hello. A bit more feisty and nervous and hissing everybody. Good girl. Good girl, Cinderella. <laughs> I'm here, yes. I'm here. Quick check on Grace just after the um, Liam to meet. Just come down and check on our dogs. We're getting out and uh, starting away and just make sure nothing's broken. All the locks are on. No messages for me anywhere. It's all secure. Padlocks on the back. And I'll turn around and go home again. I'll come down tomorrow. Um, so I've kindly been shown how to 
I disconnect all the copper pipes and uh, electrics in here. So that'll be my next job. So I'll bring the cats down tomorrow and do that, hopefully. But right now, it's a bit chilly, Willie, so we're going to get off home and do some reverse in a minute. I've had a lovely time at Liam's actually. So grateful people spoke to me. Um, you know, I really do struggle socialising, so I'm so grateful that um, that was recognised. And uh, had some lovely, friendly people come talk to me, and I stayed a lot longer than I intended to because I didn't think I'd be able to cope. Um, but yeah, what a lovely event. Um, got to see some of the people I wanted to see, some of the famous ones, and got pictures, not that they <laughs> would talk to me or anything, but uh, you know, it's a uh, it's nice to actually see who you're watching on YouTube um, in, in the flesh, as they say. Um, I suppose, <laughs> in a bit of a way, it's like watching people on TV and you're sort of meeting them when they're actually just normal people, when you get to know them. But it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a, a nice thing to have happen when you're sort of really new to the scene in the, end of the day and uh, get a chance to be amongst them and get recognised. Anyway, we, I took Caveman and... Uh, Cinderella and Mischief. Mischief's quite happy sat in the bedroom in the back here. She didn't want to come out. She went in a bag for a few minutes. Um, I gave Caveman and uh, Cinderella a little bit of a outside training and people training for their first attempt. So that was nice. And then I went back out and uh, braved it myself. Anyway, we're going to have home now. Back to the other cats and uh, back to Grace tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Weather permitting and all that. Catch you later. Bye. So I'm back home at last, just sat on the settee, getting pestered by cats who want some attention after being left behind again, like Sammy. Sammy's been left behind again, haven't you, eh? So he's trying to get some attention. Um, he, he likes going outside, obviously, in the lead, and he hasn't been able to go. And yesterday, obviously, went out all day without him for a good eight hours. And today you've seen um, Miss Chief and a couple of babies go off out through the door. <laughs> and he's not impressed, are you? So he's he's a bit jealous, so he's making sure he gets his cuddles. You see the size of him, he is a big boy, an absolute monster of a baby. Hi, Chi Chi. Um, so obviously I've got to give him his attention that he, he's craving. He's just come on so well. Um, but obviously he doesn't take to travelling yet, and I really want to leave all that uh, till Grace is ready for him, and I'll just throw him in Grace then and that would be his home. I don't want to confuse him by going in Dusty and that, like I've got to do with the little ones. Obviously they know me enough and they just go wherever I go, so I need to train them in Destiny, but Sammy just yowls when we're traveling, so I don't want to upset him anymore and we have to regard him that. Um, obviously when Grace is ready for him to move in to live in, um, we'll do that and any movement, any driving from there, obviously he'll get used to them. But obviously uh, Destiny will be doing most of the driving, so. You know, we're not going to put him through that. He's a, a late starter for training to drive and everything. And I'll say he, he screamed the place down. The last thing I want is for him to upset the little ones. The little ones quite happily follow the lead of um, Mischief and Connie um, and enjoy the van. And I want that to carry on. I want to learn them to learn from those two who are just travelling the van quite nicely. So anyway, today, Sunday, I went off with Caveman, Mischief and Cinderella. Um for a little bit of uh, training for the kittens to go off to Liam's. Um, something for me to hide behind. Obviously, I, I can't. I don't socialise very well. I find it really difficult. Um, stops me breaking down if I can focus on the cats and the kittens. Um, so I, I used that opportunity to just take um, Caveman out for his first uh, venture outside um, in public and Cinderella, so they could have a little look, see people in the distance. They gradually were introduced to them. Had some cuddles. Caveman jumped on a few. Bless him. Um, really, really good. Caveman's going to be an absolute star at this. Um, at the therapy and you know the cuddle cat and everything. Cinderella was a bit more feisty. She went down, she sort of hissed at a few dogs and people. Um, so she's obviously quite happy to sort of defend herself. I obviously find that with the females anyway. Um, so that was good. Obviously I couldn't take um, Cleopatra with me because she had to stay behind with um, Little Mystery who was still here and Sammy um, and even Bentley stayed inside where we were gone. So obviously I had to split the family up and Connie was looking after them as well here. If I'd taken them all obviously that would have upset the cats. I'm trying to sort of just not take too many and I couldn't handle more than one at a time anyway. But anyway, the vlog will show um, me out there, a little bit of the cats um, and um, the people 
that were around today. Um, many I didn't know, many I've seen on YouTube. Um, <laughs> not that I knew me or not, I don't know, we know me more from the Gaps and anything else. But I'm just really grateful for the opportunity to be amongst them and to get some fiction vlogs. So hopefully, um, I can have a look at the pictures and see who was there and uh, if you've been in the vlog please tag yourself and, and, and comment on the vlog and let me know who you were and obviously if I'm not following you I'll add you and hopefully you do the same for me as well. Huge thanks to Liam for organising the event. I'm really sorry I couldn't get up to Beechwood's um, anniversary up at the Peaks because obviously I had the show yesterday, Saturday, which you'll see part of as well. Um, and I was obviously getting ready for that on the Friday. Normally, like I say, I'd, I'd normally be sleeping on the Sunday, um, but I found it was really important. I, only four miles away, we had these wonderful YouTubers and, and van lifers that I wanted to be amongst and meet and have the opportunity to get, get a vlog or at least sort of be amongst them. So I um, really pushed myself out of my comfort zone and it was really, really good. Huge thanks to those who chatted to me. Huge thanks to those for, um, who helped me with the van and gave comments back on the van and, um, and Best wishes for Grace. Great to see Beechwood as ever. That we get a chance to sort of them see them. I do tend to sort of keep my distance, as you all know. Um, but yeah, really grateful. Um, pushing myself forward slowly, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to um, meet you all again and see you all again, and hopefully talk a bit better and more comfortably um, in the future. But um, that was a big step for me. So thank you very much for making me feel so welcome. Um, thanks to the burger. I got I had a nice little coffee um, cake as well out of it and. Uh, I hope you all like your little um, disposable, not disposable, little um, pocket max, whatever you call them, emergency ponchos. Um, I just gave them out just to thank you, to say happy Christmas to those who had them, happy Christmas to all of you that didn't. I hope you have a wonderful uh, winter break and uh, we'll see you around, hopefully with Grace, if not in Destiny. but. Um, Grace hopes we will get it there next year and if she's going to be empty and just with cat cages and be inside with a loo bucket um, I hope to sort of get her out so you can see her I really appreciate those who want to see her and uh, it's going to be a slow progress as many of you are aware you know, I, I don't have the funds now hopefully I'll get enough funds to get um, the paint done and the interior started with, with Liam um, but we'll see what happens yes people who have asked regarding Liam doing um, doing Grace um, I've really said to him I'd like him to start by doing the uh, um, what's the first bit called all the insulation and just put the frame in for me and then we'll just have to sort of make do until I can afford to do more um, hopefully I'll have some funds of that next year we'll see what happens for now as you're very much aware if you've been watching my vlog I've just got to tear the inside out get her cleaned out over winter clean the chassis down get the old um, wire brushes out um, and if I can find a somebody who can um, do the outside paintwork and spray and blast and spray it then that'd be great um i think it'd be too big a job for me to do but really i just need to get the outside paintwork done and at least she's gonna look tidy and smart and then i can get out out and about and not look so much when i saw her in my pink falling apart little horse box um but anyway Destiny's doing great, she's squealing, I apologise for the squeals, Obviously, she actually needs more mechanical work than I'm actually um, changing the belts and, and, and things going around all the engine and the, the next job was another £500 and obviously there's no point me spending that on Destiny at the moment, I, I haven't got the money but you know obviously any money's got really got to go forward into Grace, she's running, she's happy, Destiny will keep going. Um, her, the inverter thing apparently has reset itself, <laughs> has someone come look at the day and um, she's working fine again so obviously it's reset itself so that's great, I didn't need to buy another inverter thingy with Jiggy um, so I can now plug my laptop back in, not that we've got any solar or anything. Um, but yeah, obviously um, the batteries will charge themselves through the split charger. So winter-wise, I'm not going to do much in Destiny or go anywhere apart from maybe um, to say exercise the cats. We'll drive her down to Grace, um, get the cats used to seeing Destiny or at least um, seeing Grace or at least parking Destiny next to Grace and going for walks from there. Get the kittens trained. Um, Sammy will not come out at that, not just yet. Um, Sammy's quite happy in the bungalow and we can exercise him and just let him get used to being on a, a lead outside. Uh, the bungalow for now so it looks like i'm stuck in the bungalow for quite a while um every winter for sure um and just sort of try and get my butt kicked and keep clearing grace out and uh, get her dismantled as best i can um down to the bare metal and down to sort of basics um but still able to travel because um 
my personal situation, family situation, um, that I may need to sort of up and disappear. I need her driver board. I need to be. Able to, may need to just up and take all the cats with me back home, if anything happens there, uh, regarding the circumstances there. So in that respect, I'm obviously not going to be falling the floor of the base up. So obviously, I can't just um, take everybody off in destiny down to um, my home routes. I can only do that if. Um, take all the cats if I go in grace um, but hopefully that won't come to that um, but I'm obviously on a waiting on an emergency call should anything happen um, but I'm obviously not going to sort of I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying much trying not to say too much um, but I need to keep the back of the lorry as it is at the moment so I can put these cages in there the cats are happy in the cages if need be the cats can travel in the back of the lorry in their cat cages I can bang a mattress on the floor and I'm sleeping it that way and with a load of <laughs> blankets if I'm cold and travel if I need to go to any um, situation that I need to deal with. Um, so that's why I'm not doing the floor up or anything. But anyway, I'm waffling. I hope you enjoy the vlog. Like I say, I had a wonderful day. Thank you very much and I hope to see you all soon. Bye for now.